No, young me. I don't want to wait to hear about it until we get to school. Keep talking. It's only the best book in the history of words. I don't know how he made this Ferguson Annabelle book better than the last one. But it so is. So, tell me about it. Well, Prince Skeezius infected Annabelle with something, and she's a vampire that can't be out in daylight. Ugh, Prince Skeezius? It should be back to the prison planet for that guy. Well, half guy, half alien. And Fergus? He was bitten by one of Skeezius' gloom bots, so he's become a zombie, but a special kind of zombie that can only be out in daylight. Ooh, so it's a zompire story. Those are so totally hot right now. So Fergus and Annabelle can't possibly ever be together, no matter how much their friends try to make it happen. Aww. And because Fergus isn't there to protect her, Prince Skeezius thinks he can get to Annabelle and hypnotize her into loving him. And all she has to protect herself with is the recording of the song they sang together just as Fergus was turning into a zombie. Really? Uh-huh. It's haunting Melody can turn Skeezius into sludge. Oh, Blythe, it's super tragic, and you'll feel like you're in the novel when you read it. You have to, have to, have to promise me you'll download it. I promise, I promise, I promise! Check your inbox. I just sent you an MP3 of the theme song of the movie they're making for the book. If we ever be together, it's empty, the dust will dawn. But no matter where we are, our love goes on. Don't tell me any more, young me. I don't want to spoil it. I won't. I... What? What are those things on your face? Huh? What the what? Oh no! You're becoming a zombie! I can't catch it. I have a test today! What's the matter with young me? Oh, she's just being weird. I'll check a medical website. Three pink dots, triangle, forehead. Three spots in a perfect triangle on the forehead could be a sign of Jerry Berry. Is that bad? It actually sounds kind of tasty. Begins with spots, leads to oversensitivity to light, loss of hearing, and finally... Gasp! Gasp! So, not because I'm nervous or anything, but does it say if Jerry Berry is contagious? Very. Gasp! So super tragic. You think about all the things that you love to do It all comes true You find a place you never knew Where you're happy to Just be you We can be yeah. who we want to be yeah. And little Miss Ketchup, you and me We can be yeah. who we want to be yeah. And little Miss Ketchup, you and me Am I close? Am I gross? <laughs> close to bumping your nose. If you mean close to tagging us unhappily for you, the answer is no. <laughs> Aha! I heard you, Penny Ling and Sunil. Which allows me to triangulate a location for you based on vectors in which you might... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just ready to the wall. <laughs> How's that vector thing working out for you now, Russell? Yeah, looks like you just vectored the wall pretty good. It's horrible! A catastrophe! I can't put my feelings into words. I can only express myself by dancing. What? What, what is so horrible and catastrophic? Blythe locked herself in her room because she doesn't want to infect us. Blythe's sick? She might have... Harry Larry. Jerry Berry. Very scary? Jerry Berry! Uh, I don't know what any of those are, so I'm just gonna figure they're all, you know, bad. Well, we should do whatever we can to help Blythe, even if she won't let us see her. <laughs> Ow! Penny Ling, what happened? Oh, you stuck me with one of your quills! Uh, I didn't mean to. Oh, I'm so sorry. Russell, this has been happening a lot lately. How dare you! Prove it! <laughs> 
Wow, I stand corrected. <gasps> My quill collection is getting bigger and bigger! I, I don't understand it. In the last few days, I've been losing so many quills for some reason. It's okay, Russell. I'm all right. No, Pennyling. I promise this won't happen anymore. You have my word that I will do my best to never hurt anyone again. <gasps> oh, come on! Blythe, what do you mean you're quarantined? Dad, it's better for everyone if I just stay in here for the next 24 hours. Ugh. That's when I'll know if I have Jerry Berry. Cherry Berry? Not Cherry Dairy, Jerry Berry. I'm already sensitive to light, and the website says people with Jerry Berry lose their hearing. And I'm having trouble hearing you. You're wearing a ski cap? What? Take off your ski cap! <laughs> oh, yeah. I can hear much better. Now, how do you think you got this Jerry Berry? Well, remember that candy you brought me back from that strange foreign country? You mean England? Blythe, that was bubblegum. Strange English bubblegum. If you don't feel well, you should stay home. I have meetings at the airport, but I'll come back at lunchtime and check on you. Call me if you need me, okay? Will do. Love you, Dad. Love you, and feel better. <sighs> this is ridiculous. If only I had something else to do besides worry. I miss the pets. I bet they're having a blast right now. This is a terrible situation. Simply terrible. It's not like Russell's trying to hurt anyone. Yeah, but we're still getting hurt. I, for one, would prefer not to be stuck with his quills ever again. That is, unless we all vote that it's all right to be stuck with his quills again. None of us want that, Penny Ling. Hmm. I wonder why he's suddenly losing his quills. <gasps> I hope Russell doesn't do anything crazy. Hey, everybody! Ta-da! Ouch! Oh, that's a nasty sunburn. Two words for you, Russell. Sunblock. It's not a sunburn, Minka. Red is the color of danger, right? So I painted myself red so everyone knows to stay away from me. <coughs> I'm so sorry, Zoe. But didn't you see that I'm painted red for stay away? I'm a dog. I don't see red very well. One more for my collection. I'm a walking disaster area. What is happening to me? Russell's losing his quills. Blythe's locked herself in a room with some mysterious illness. It's all too horrible for words. Maybe making Blythe a get well soon card will cheer us up. Oh, we could use a quill from my Russell collection as a pen. Hey! Where'd this come from? Boy, this neighborhood's really changing fast! Hello, everybody! Russell? Yes! I've built my own enclosure so I can't get out. No one can get in, and therefore no one can be hurt by my quills. Mind if I give it a try, Russell? <laughs> it goes all the way up to the ceiling. Russell! Do you have food in there with you? No! But watch this! You can slide food to me through this slot. Oh, very impressive, Russell. Kind of like... Take a look inside! Simeon, don't! The whole point is that you... Simeon, are you all right? Oh, I am fine, although Russell appears to have... Lost another quill. Thank you. Ow! Oh, Russell, I think you should know the opening in your tower was not large enough to accommodate my oversized cranium. Oh, this is not going very well. Oh, maybe we should go see Blythe. She might be able to tell us how we can help Russell. Except we can't go see Blythe. She won't let us in because of that awful Jerry Berry thingy. Remember? Poor Blythe. Oh, poor Russell. Oh, I'm so worried about both of them. Don't worry about me, Penny Ling. Well, what do you think? It's a fashion statement, for sure. With this bubble wrap around me, I won't stick anyone. Plus, it helps keep me from losing my quills. Go ahead, just try to get through. Oh, I gotta hand it to you, Russell. I didn't think you could do it, but you finally came up with a good solution. 
Yeah, no one's gonna get hurt by your quills now. Anybody else smell that? That smells like mid-morning snack! Hey! Hey, you guys! I'm hungry. Ugh, this is not a very productive use of my time. Hey, I should download that Fergus and Annabelle book Young Me was talking about. I hope it's as good as she said. I doubt anything could take my mind off Jerry Berry. Annabelle cried lonely tears, not just for herself, but for Fergus. Annabelle felt totally cut off from the only thing she cared about. The only thing that mattered, possibly facing a horrible fate. Ooh, just like me. That snack really hit the spot. Russell, you really should have come with us. I was bringing you leftovers, but I ate them on the way back. Stay back! Are you okay, darling? No, none of my ideas have worked. It looks like I'm either going to lose all my quills, keep sticking all of you, or starve. Oh, surely there must be another option. Only one I can think of. I may have to leave Littlest Pet Shop forever. I don't get it. The door's stuck. What? We need your help. Friends, is that you? We really need to talk to you, Blythe. Can we open the door? Oh, yes. It'll be so good to see you all. But wait, I mustn't. I couldn't live knowing I'd infected you. How can I be certain you're not Prince Skeezius or one of his gloombots imitating the voices of my friends? Uh, who's Prince Skeezius? Oh, how I wish I knew if I could trust you. I think it's best if I don't communicate with you at all. Uh, any idea what that's all about? Blythe, we're not Prince Anybody. That's just what a tricky gloombot might say. Does she sound strange to you? Mm, everyone sounds strange to me. Let me try. Blythe, 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 Blythe Banana Fanta, Blythe. <laughs> Please, leave me to my brooding silence. Blythe, Please let us in. We're worried about you, and we need your help. Russell's losing his quills and keeps sticking us. He wants to leave Lilo's pet shop forever. Uh, and I want to see him. His zombie blank eyes and moldy face. But I can't. I couldn't survive in daylight, and I don't want to infect anyone. Oh, blood's gone. What do we call, uh, uh, Demetrius? You mean delirious. No, I know this iguana named Demetrius. Whenever he got sick, he'd get all loopy doopy. We call it going Demetrius. Annabelle's heart quietly cracked and then broke. She knew that if those were her friends at the door, letting them in could be their doom. But if it was Prince Skeezius, it could be her own. Annabelle, you must see Fergus. He cannot live without you. As much as I wish it were not so, I can't see Fergus ever again. Or any of you, my friends. I won't let anyone catch my illness. And if that's you, Dark Prince, I won't fall for your evil trick and surrender my heart to you. Whoa, she's totally, seriously Demetrius. Told ya. Poor Blythe. Maybe it's the cherry bear that's making her sound so weird. Hopefully she's not so sick she can't help us keep Russell from leaving. But if she won't open the door for us, we're going to need to find another way in. <laughs> Ideas we might have thought of, I am sure this one does not rank very high. Sinil, stop worrying. I can climb walls, so a thin little ledge isn't a big deal. Sticky Feet's my middle name. I thought his middle name was Alfonso. Vinny, less talking, more walking. Sheesh, everything's rush, rush, rush. Annabelle gazed around her room at the precautions she'd taken to keep Prince Skeezius out. She couldn't help but think she'd forgotten something. But what? What? Yo, Blythe, I come to you, um, to bring you to Fergus. The window. <gasps> Prince Skeezius could fly right in on a gloom bot. How could I have been so foolish? Oh, dear friend, if that is 
you. I know you mean well, but trust me, eternal sadness and loneliness is my destiny. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's all that trouble? Excellent effort, Alfonso. Even though you shall never read this, being your zombie and everything, I have to write this to tell you my feelings. They're not good, Fergus. This situation really stinks. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <gasps> it's Prince Skeezius. Only he would attempt so nasty a trick as to sneak in through the air vent. Are we there yet? Stop asking that. I can't tell. Penny Ling's blocking my sight. I can't help it. I'm Big Bone. I should have been up front. Eh, no thanks. I've been behind you before. Sometimes it ain't such a great place to be. <laughs> Can we focus on the fact that Blythe and Russell need our help? I think I see a light up ahead. We're almost there. <laughs> power to drive the evil prince away and yet it only keeps me alone which i will forever be oh the tragic irony oh, i hunger to see fergus oh, i also hunger for ramen must be lunchtime but dare i risk breaking my self-imposed imprisonment all right all right i get the hint Told you that'd get her out of there. Ow! <gasps> Darling! Are you alright? Uh, yeah. I think so. I guess I got carried away with this book I'm reading. I just don't want you catching whatever I have. We'll keep our distance from you, but if you're feeling up to it, we could really use your help. Russell's almost out the door! It's just accidents and stuff, but he thinks he's a danger to everyone because his quills keep coming out. OMG! I wish I could come down and help, but it wouldn't be a good idea in my condition. So what can we do? Try showing him he shouldn't isolate himself, because things aren't always what they seem. And an accident doesn't necessarily mean someone is dangerous. Hear that? Yo, I was behind you in that air vent. You almost burned my nose off. I call that dangerous. I wonder if I should wait for them to get back from wherever they went so I can say goodbye. No. I might stick somebody with my quills. Better just go. Russell! Stop! You have to listen to why we think you should stay with us and not isolate yourself. Now then, we're here to show you that anyone can be dangerous to others when they're not trying to be, under the right circumstances. Even us. Take me, for example. At any second, my tail could go flying off and become a dangerous... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> We weren't actually going to do anything dangerous. I wasn't trying to. It was a uh, accident. Russell, thank you for saving me from. Be careful! My quills have a mind of their own. Hmm. It's no fun thanking somebody when you can't hug them. Honey, how are you feeling? I feel okay, Dad, but I think I still better stay in here for a while until I know for sure. Who told you that you had this Jerry Berry in the first place? Uh, the internet. I'm coming in. What symptoms do you have? Well, when I look at the computer for more than a couple of hours at a time, I get a headache. And my eyes feel really dry. And then there's these three red blotches. <laughs> it's not funny, Dad. Jerry Berry is a very serious <laughs> illness. <clears throat> I I'm sorry. I'm sure it is, honey. But what you have isn't. What you have are pimples. I do. <sighs> Congratulations on your first breakout. The other stuff just comes from sitting too long at the computer. Feel like an ice cream sundae? Actually, I feel like a dork. I can't believe I thought I had a terrible disease. I wonder if I'm not the only one who got the wrong idea about their condition. 
I appreciate what you're all doing, but it seems my quills are always going to be a problem. So I think I'm still going to just... Hold it right there, Hedgehog. You're not going anywhere to be by yourself forever. Just like I'm not going to stay locked up in my room anymore. I looked up on the internet what's been going on with you, Russell. It turns out you're just quilling. Without question. That's why I think it's best if I just... Quilling is a thing hedgehogs go through a couple of times during their lives. They lose their quills when they don't want to, but it's only temporary. It is? Yes. You just need to be extra, extra careful until it's over. Then everything will be back to normal. Russell, that means you can stay! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, everyone. It looks like things worked out for the both of us. You don't have Jerry Berry? Just pimples. Like your quilling, it's only temporary. Well, I'm just glad we're both gonna be okay. Yeah, I guess we overreacted. But the best part is, no one's in any danger. Not you, not me, and not our friends. Not even Fergus and Annabelle. It all worked out for them, too. Huh? <laughs> Waiting for. Go, 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 go